Welcome to Techno Tips, where I'm going to answer your questions. One of the viewers asked, I am preparing for the CCNA, but most people recommend that it would be better to go for security, DevOps, or cloud. I don't know what to do. Please guide me. So in this video, we're going to answer that question. Now realize my recommendation would actually change depending on who you are, what your background is, and what it is that you want to get into. But I am going to attempt to answer this question and realize also that it's from my perspective. Of course, my perspective is coming from I've lived this and been a technician out there in the field doing IT work. I've also been an instructor for over 20 years now teaching this stuff in the classroom. And also I've been a, a hiring manager, an IT director, where I've been managing groups of people, hiring groups of people that have gone through all of this. So I come from a little bit of background with this. Now there is a strong reason why people would recommend security DevOps and cloud over the CCNA. That is the CCNA has declined somewhat in popularity over the years. CCNA is still a big certification and has a lot of power behind it, but it's not the same as it used to be, let's say 20 years ago. The, the decline really has a lot to do with a lot of stuff is being moved up in the cloud. And because of that, we don't have as much equipment on site. In fact, I made the transition at the last place I worked where I moved everything up into the cloud. I moved 100% of stuff up into the cloud. And so it really is declining somewhat because there's not as high of a demand as there used to be. And the key to that is used to be. So that is one reason why that they would recommend security DevOps and cloud over CCNA because security, DevOps, and cloud are really hot topics. Now there still are reasons for the CCNA. And that is, is if you have a lack of knowledge around the networking side, you really do need to understand networking. No matter what you get into, you're going to have to understand networking. And CCNA is a great certification for understanding networking. Even though it's vendor specific, there's a lot of things that, that you're going to learn when you're getting your CCNA that applies to everything. So let's take a look at each one of these separately. Security, you're just going to need to know security. No matter what you get into, you're going to need to know security. But if you're looking for an advanced security certificate or getting into security as a, as, a, as a career, you're really going to need to know a lot about a lot of different things. To include networking, make sure you have that base knowledge around networking. So perhaps you'd go after CCNA for that. Same thing with DevOps. DevOps is the idea of how you roll out things, roll out the different OS, roll out different uh, networking equipment. And so if you're getting into DevOps, you still have to have some networking experience, strong networking experience. And then there's the cloud. Same thing. Cloud is just a platform to roll out the OS, to roll out these different networking technologies. So even if you're getting into cloud, having a networking background is still something that you're going to want. Now, uh, I will say networking in the cloud is a little different. And so, there, but there's still a lot of concepts that you'll learn using the CCNA. So whether you're going for your network, network plus your CCNA, or you're just getting experience on the networking side, you're going to have to know uh, quite a bit about networking to be successful in these other areas. I can tell you what I did, which ended up being a very successful and rewarding career, as well as I made quite a bit of money doing all of this. So I started out with some CompTIA certifications, the basic A+, Network+, Security+, as a good foundation. These are vendor neutral and just get you going on things, understanding the certification testing process and getting successful at that. So I thought it was a really great route for me to go down. Uh, they're not as much cloud around them. So that's where if you get more into the, the specific vendors, then you can actually uh, study things a little more in depth. And that's where I went after the Microsoft certification. So I'm really understanding the OS. I also went after my Linux Plus certification. But understanding how servers work is going to be really critical to this. A good foundation understanding networking is also important. So you could go with the Network Plus or the CCNA. So that's a, like a, a, a good next step with all of this. And then going after something that's a virtual, uh, the cloud, or at the time that I was going through all of this, it was the VCP, the VMware Certified Professional, before the cloud really was a thing.
And then you get into your specialties and that's where uh, like security or I took a lot of management certifications. So these are some of the certifications that I went through that, that I found was a good route for me to go. I'm creating an IT career success course to help you be successful in your career. I'm gonna be covering topics such as how to find training, applying for jobs, interviewing, negotiating salary. I'm gonna pack it full of ton of information to help you be successful in this IT career. So I'm gonna put a link down below in the description. If you click and pre-register for that course, you'll get steep discounts. So that's gonna be a great resource for you. Another great resource for you is that comment section down below. Put your questions down in the comments as they come up, and I will help answer, answer those in future Technotip videos. So I'm gonna continuously answer people's questions in these videos. And then finally, if you could help me out, I would really appreciate it. And you can help me out by hitting that like button. So thanks for watching my video, hope you enjoyed it, and we'll catch you in the next one.